Are you worried about today's dire financial situation? Put simply, I would argue the Biden economic plan is working. The storms on Wall Street continue today after regulators seized the assets of Silicon Valley Bank, marking the largest bank failure since the 2008 financial crisis. Do you worry you'll have enough to pay your mortgage, pay your children's college tuition, enough to retire? I believe our banking system remains strong. Regional banks in focus once again today as the market digests the fallout of the First Republic failure. You have questions, we have answers. It's the Gold Standard with Ken Russo and Jennifer Horn. Thank you for joining us. It is the Gold Standard Radio Show. Ken Russo and Jennifer Horn back together and all of you welcome in. And before we jump in, Ken Russo, a big happy birthday, my friend. This is birthday week for you. And Thank you. We've been celebrating, right? Yeah. A little cake it's in the an studio. Important, important age. <laughs> I can move into those retirement communities now if... Uh, Things get real bad. Let's just say if the economy really does start to explode like we think it it's on its yeah. way, uh, at least you'll be able to save some money at Sizzler. That's you know? right. A little early bird special. That's right. <laughs> Join AMAC, AARP, That's you know. Right. All so the A's. Got to look at the bright side, right, Jen? Hey, you know what? You might as well save the money where you can. God knows we need to. All right. Well, we are going to talk a little bit about your money, your financial future, and whether or not all that money you worked so hard to earn is going to be there for you when you need it. And it might not be. And it might not be because nope. there's a lot happening right now. And of course, before we jump into the news of the national debt ooh, and these crazy numbers that Ken, you put together all week, your research team. Yeah. On the money. Yeah, we got some real doozies this week. We got to start with, well, we have, we talk about how we got here. And that is with President Richard Nixon, who decided to uh, take us off the gold standard, right? Mm-hmm. He decided to just say, you know what, those dollars, why do we need to back them with anything? Let's just... Let's just make them worth the paper they're printed on. That's exactly right. Yeah. The, the beginning of the wild, wild west That's when right. it comes to, <laughs> uh, you know, money, fiat money backed by nothing. You know, people out there listening, our money was once backed by gold. You know, mm-hmm. you can go to the bank with a $20 bill and they'd give you a $20 gold coin. Easy peasy. Not anymore. No. So it's backed by debt. You know, Richard Nixon, uh, what did he say? Um, no longer going to allow the convertibility <laughs> of the dollar into gold. It's amazing hubba, he hubba, joins hubba. us each week. You know, yeah. we don't mess yeah. around on the guests in this show. Well, <laughs> but, the, but the fact of the matter is, is that all of this spending would have never been possible if mm-hmm. that didn't happen. You know, all of this debt would have never been possible if, if that didn't happen. And where are we today? $34 trillion of debt, right? Right. 23 years ago, we were at $5.6 trillion of debt. So that's a huge, huge increase. A big jump. And um, I wanted to read something to you because, I, I mean, I'm not a professional interviewer. You know, some of these guys, they go on YouTube and stuff. I don't know if they have signs planted where they could read all these numbers, but they're pretty amazing. Like a teleprompter, right? We don't do I, that I don't, I don't pretend to, you know, uh, pretend that I can do that, but I'm going to read some stuff here. Since 1800, mm-hmm. 51 out of 52 countries with a gross government debt greater than 130% have defaulted through either restructuring, devaluation, high inflation, or outright default. And the United States, for people who are not paying attention, is right near that 130% sure. you know, you know, line in the sand, so to speak. U.S. government debt is rising by $340 billion per week. Did, did people hear that right? The U.S. debt. $340 billion. Mm-hmm, per, per week. So debt wow. has grown... By just under two trillion dollars since the debt ceiling agreement was done on June the first of of last year, so you know it took like two hundred and thirty years to produce the first two trillion. Yeah, and now, now here it's we are. now in just a couple of months, right? Since June, um, mm. fifty trillion, Jen. Here we come, and at the same time, what if we go into a recession? Tax receipts are headed down. Spending is going up exponentially. You know, we have historically large budget deficits. So where exactly is this going to stop? You and I were yeah. just talking a little while ago and we said, honestly, what what is the plan? Mm-hmm. And is there one? You know, for these people who are making these decisions, what's mm-hmm. the plan? Are yep. we just going to print, you know, tens and hundreds of trillions of dollars, print mm-hmm. as much as we can, take out as much possible debt as we can, and just pray that 
things stay together? Yeah. Are we just going to do that or until things collapse? And that's what it seems like. And there's kind of a best case and a worst case scenario when that happens, right? Well, the best case scenario in the next 20 years is our money loses half of its value. Mm -hmm. Our purchasing power and our buying power just continues to dwindle. You know, it's it's a slow death, right? The worst case scenario is a collapse. You we know? don't even want to think about that. No. And we can't access our money. Our money disappears. You know, banks go down. There's a bail-in. Unfortunately, that's a possibility. Mm-hmm. So the question is, is why would anybody want to keep all of their assets tied up to such a risky system? You want to be prepared. How do you distance yourself from what's coming, you know, potentially mm-hmm. with the banks? Or is this system just the number so big? Is it just going to collapse based on big numbers? Or... Is there some sort of secret force behind everything that's going on that has an incentive to tear everything down? And we all know desperate people are a lot easier to control. Yeah. You know, uh, what, what do you need us to do, Mr. Government? Sure. What do you need? Well, we need you to, you know, go into this digital system now and we'll make everything. All, well, I don't know, but I'm very fearful, Jen, that people are not taking what's going on seriously enough with their savings, mm-hmm. not going on seriously enough with their their stock accounts and with their IRAs, their old 401ks. And I would just say, based on everything that's going on, and these are just facts, yeah. you have to diversify. You have to look for some distance between you and what's coming. And the way to do that right now in an easy way is you know, take some of those paper assets and convert it into physical gold and silver that you could hold on to. It will allow us to kind of watch the show over the next few years, mm-hmm. see what happens, and when the dust settles, we could, you know, have the ability to at least go back into some form of monetary system, whatever it is. But at least this way, we'll be somewhat financially intact. Especially because gold has held its value historically over time, where paper money has done quite the opposite. Here's what you can do right now. And then I want to ask you a follow-up question to that. 855-322-4653 is a number to call Midas Gold Group. That's 855-322-GOLD. You can always check them out, MidasGoldGroup.com. You can see them in person if you're near Phoenix, Arizona or Thousand Oaks, California. But Ken, we talk a lot about the problems and we talk about how gold is a solution for people who are brand new to this. How does gold protect them? Well, it's about buying power. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, a dollar of fiat money, which says Federal Reserve note on it 23 years ago, that dollar is now worth about 55 cents. Right. A dollar of gold 23 years ago is now worth about $8. It's a big difference. It's a better deal. Yeah, it's a bit, one product holds its value and the other product does not. Mm-hmm. So the more they print and the more the monetary system expands, the monetary base, whatever you want to call it, the less our paper money is going to be worth because, yeah. because the buying power is going to decrease. Now, that's, it's, a, it's an inevitable result of our central banking system. Mm-hmm. They have to create inflation. And inflation is the devaluation of our currency because we have to print and we have to take on more debt to keep the system going. Mm -hmm. So where is that money coming from? It's coming from, you know, a click of a button on a a computer or a mouse, mouse clicked money. That's what it is. That's right. And so gold holds its value. And it's also part two of this. God forbid it is the worst case scenario and things start to collapse and banks aren't there and your stuff is not accessible. It's home with you. It's in your home safe. It's easy to get to. It's tangible and it's there so that you can get to it when you need it. So really kind of dual purpose when you think about adding gold and precious metals to your portfolio. The control aspect. Yeah. And uh, what's the opposite of that? You're all of your money's tied up in the banking system. Right. Or all of your money's tied up to a market. Well, what if we can't get to our money? What if the markets are frozen or we, you know, they're just not working correctly? Or if there's a there's a hack. Who knows? There's a there's a lot of things that can go wrong. Mm-hmm. And in my opinion right now, there's not really too many things that can go right. So when you have that type of risk, a lot of risk, you need more diversification, yeah. more defense. You know, we could $34 trillion, Jen, in $100 bills would stack up more than 19,000 miles high. <laughs> I do, don't even do you, think can, people I, realize this. There's so many zeros. You think about that, 19,000 miles high. The national debt is $264,000 per taxpayer. Which Think is like about a house, that. basically. The U.S. spends over $1.8 billion per day just on interest. Mm-hmm. Think about that. I love this one. $34 trillion is more than the combined value 
of the economies of China, Japan, Germany, and the United Kingdom. And that's our debt. It's huge. Yeah. So, you know, we're in a huge bubble that's been created by debt, created by abnormally low interest rates for 30 years. Mm -hmm. That, in my opinion, has changed. The question is, is how long is it going to take before this bubble bursts? How yeah. long could they, uh, you know, delay the inevitable? Don't wait around. Realistically. Yeah, don't wait around for that pop. And take care of yourself now. Take care of your family. Midas Gold Group, America First Patriots. They are veteran-owned. 855-322-GOLD. That's 855-322-4653. You can go see them face-to-face. -face. This isn't just a call center. You're talking to real live people. Thousand Oaks, California, Phoenix, Arizona. Always MidasGoldGroup.com. If you like to text, text the word GOLD to 232425. And Midas will get right back to you. Now, let's talk about the cost of living because we know that is going up, Ken. Yeah, another, you know, result of our devalued money. Sure. And I, I met you, you know, formally about four years ago. Yeah. And they just started with the COVID situation mm -hmm. and giving away a little bit of money here or there. And, yep. and you asked me specifically, Ken, what's going to happen based on this? And I simply said, there's going to be a lot of inflation. I remember that. Simply. Yep. So and you were right, by the way. Well, in reality, the writing's on the wall. Mm -hmm. Now, the question is, is over the next 10 years, if and when the dollar actually loses tremendous value, what's going to reflect that gold mm -hmm. at a higher price? So typically- Which is good to buy it now. Well, back in the 80s, when the gold reflected all of the money that was printed, gold went from 30 to 800 in a few years. Mm -hmm. And then back during 2008, during the subprime mortgage crisis, gold went from about you know $800 to 1900 Wow. So when gold reflects all of the money that's been printed now globally and all of the leverage and everything else that's out there, all of the devaluation of our money, mm -hmm. realistically, it could be ten, twenty, thirty thousand dollars $30,000 per ounce. So as you lose buying power and as a lot of wealthy people lose, you know, assets, paper assets, mm -hmm. the value of those paper assets goes down, people are going to flock to gold and yeah. it's going to cause the price more than likely to go up. Not the reason why you should buy it, but... But it's also the reason why you don't want to wait. You want to get this taken care of. You want to do it now. You want to hedge your bets, protect yourself against a system that is chaotic at best and... Deceiving, uh, of course, the more we get into the election cycle, there are going to be a lot of manipulation of numbers and things. Protect yourself, protect your family, protect the money you worked hard to earn. 855-322-GOLD, 855-322-4653, MidasGoldGroup.com is the website. And we have a whole lot more up ahead. Always love doing this with you. It's the Gold That's Standard right. Radio Show, Ken Russo and Jennifer Horn. Dr. Gorka here. You're listening to The Gold Standard with your hosts, Ken Russo from veteran-owned Midas Gold Group and Jennifer Horn. Owning private money in the form of physical gold and silver is perhaps more important than ever to your long-term financial security. As U.S. banks fail, the Biden administration sends hundreds of billions abroad while depleting our strategic oil reserves. However, the biggest financial threat may be coming from within central bank digital currency. The patents have been filed and the big banks have released plans for implementation. Midas Gold Group sees tyrannical implications, the end of cash, the end of financial privacy, big government able to see your every purchase. Could there be ties to social credit? Hear more commentary on the political and economic issues that affect your financial security right here on the Gold Standard. You can create your own Gold Standard with a call to Midas Gold Group, 855-322-GOLD. That's 855 855- 322-4653 MidasGoldGroup.com Welcome back and thanks for joining us today. It's the Gold Standard Radio Show. Ken Russo and Jennifer Horn here celebrating Ken's birthday mm -hmm. today. Happy birthday. Special week. I wish that we could uh, celebrate more, but you know, well, if you listen to certain people, Ken, there's no problem Nothing to see here. Biden yeah, is working. Yeah, everything's working. Things are great. The Fed says everything's great. Don't panic. Now, I don't know if you believe that because if you actually dig in and look at the real numbers, they don't reflect what our elected politicians want to tell us. And even those numbers sometimes don't tell us the truth. So 
we hear the forecast here on the program and the gold standard radio show and we look at the national debt and the cost of living we look at inflation we look at all of this and we go it can't all be coming up roses like they yeah. tell us, right? Yeah, and how, how could Ken be saying every week that these numbers are skewed? Skeptical, and, and these skeptical numbers, Ken. Yeah, right, yeah. <laughs> Pessimistic Ken. Pessimistic Ken. <laughs> I think sarcastic Ken is going to be unveiled maybe next week. You keep teasing me on that. I, might, I can't yeah. wait. I can't wait. But we talked about, I mean, the truth comes out, right? I mean, uh, first of all, how could our leader who who has to read off of cards and can't put two or three sentences together or take three or four steps without falling down. Can't find his way off the stage. I mean, 443,000 jobs disappeared with the revisions that they made uh, last week. So all the numbers from last year, I mean, sure, let's just go back and revise the whole year. So, Quietly, and nobody talks about that. Yeah, or or like if the numbers aren't working out correctly, let's just take a few things out so that it looks a little bit better. So- The problem with this, Jen, is we've talked at nauseum about a lot of the other parts of the world Mm -hmm. looking at our leadership and looking at our debt situation and looking at what's going on with, you know, weaponizing the dollar and, you know, DOJ and FBI and all this other stuff, but especially with our money. And they're laughing. Weakness and corruption. They're laughing. Mm -hmm. And now you have countries like the BRICS, which was six strong. Now there's five more countries that are coming on. You have 20 to 30 to 40 or maybe more countries that are petitioning to also join. Mm -hmm. A lot of these countries are rich oil producers, you know, countries that have a lot of resources. Sure. So they're going to back up their numbers and they're going to back up their currency with tangible things. Not Not, the dollar. Not debt. Yeah. Okay. You know, unpayable debt, Mm -hmm. debt that's going to blow up. That's what's backing up our you know, uh, currency. Our largest asset is student loans, believe it or not, which is crazy. It's crazy. But now you have countries like the United Arab Emirates that are hinting that they may not even want to sell oil anymore in in dollars. They're doing business with other countries. They're sidestepping the dollar. This is a theme. Mm -hmm. These countries are signing deals on their own, shutting the dollar out, so these what are, do they know that the people here don't want to tell us? These other countries are not buying our debt anymore. Yeah. You know, so it's a slow process. They're just chipping away at the dollar as the world reserve currency. You know, but you know what they say, you go slowly bankrupt, but then all of a sudden. Yeah. So these are the things you have to prepare for, you know, and, and quite frankly, it, it is a trend that for the dollar and for the United States and our debt situation, it's headed in, in the very bad direction. Mm. How could it be that the, you know, that the deficits that we're going to be carrying is more than what we're bringing in on, in tax receipts? This is a very, very bad situation, okay? This is almost at the point of no return. So I'm concerned that such a desperate financial situation mm-hmm leads to drastic measures. Now, what that means- Desperation, right? That's right. But if you're holding on to the majority of your wealth yourself and you control it yourself, Mm -hmm. you're not at their whim. You've removed yourself from the chaos. You didn't comply. You're going to give yourself to financially survive no matter what happens. So that would be my suggestion. I mean, like I said many times, we don't give financial advice. Maybe we're totally wrong. Maybe we just live in a huge bubble for the next 50 years. But based on history, and history Mm -hmm. does matter, and we were just talking about before, when you reach a certain point debt-wise, it's just a point of no return. And we are there. We're going to surpass it very easily. And quite frankly, something bad could happen at any time. Yeah, and then what do we do about it? And uh, this is the problem. Protect yourself. Protect your family. I say it all the time. You work really hard for your money. Gold is not just something that the wealthy collect. Gold is something that the middle class should collect to keep themselves safe from all of the stuff that's going on around us. 855-322-4653, 855-322-GOLD, 855-322-GOLD. Or you can always check out the website, MidasGoldGroup.com. You can text the word GOLD to 232425. Now, I want to ask you about a news item I saw this week. And yes. it seems... We keep saying it's crazy and it's unbelievable, but it's crazy and it's unbelievable. Yeah, so this, that's is, the this is a real, this is a stretch. The U.S. is now saying that they are going to take the money that was seized from Russia 
to send to Ukraine. Yeah. And just the, the notion of that, I mean, you're talking about something like using the dollar as a weapon and yeah. we confiscated money, but we just held it, right? Mm -hmm. Now we're going to actually steal it? Now we're going to just take it and give it wherever we want, like Robin Hood. That's crazy. Now mm. that's on a world stage, suicide, financial suicide, because these other countries and stuff say, well, what if, what if, what if that's us? Right. You know, and we all know that China, Iran, you know, Russia... They all have these things going on, and it almost mm -hmm. seems like they're encouraging conflict, right? Some sort of conflict that's coming. You know, military strikes started last week in Yemen. Yeah. That's not going to stop. War and inflation is not going to stop. It's going to only get worse. And even a change in leadership, and this is what you have to ask, because we, we are starting an election year. We had the Iowa right. caucuses this week. Even if you see that there's going to be a change coming, we can hope, in the White House— that doesn't mean that these problems go away overnight. It no. really doesn't. No, and then Trump is an expert in bankruptcy, right? So what's he going to do, run the country through bankruptcy? So I, I don't know where we're headed, but mm -hmm. no matter who comes in, yes, our borders could be treated better. Yes, you know, the regulation could be better. Yes, we can be a, an, a go back to being an oil uh, and gas producer. But whoever comes in, they're going to have to still print to infinity. Yeah. They're still going to have to spend to infinity, because that's what the system now is addicted to. And it's Republicans and Democrats. There's no winning party when it comes to spending. Everybody's no. doing it. Of course, we could have somebody that doesn't stumble over themselves. Mm -hmm. And of course, we could have somebody who is truly trying to unify the country, you know, and we could be proud to be Americans again and, and have somebody who is fighting for the people, of mm -hmm. course, rather than people who hate America. So in my opinion, while this process plays out, Things can get real nasty. That doesn't mean that you have to lose all of your money or, yeah. or lose access to all of your funds. And that's where gold and silver comes in. Wouldn't it be better to just kind of sit back in some instruments like gold and silver that have historically held their value, held their purchasing mm -hmm. power? It'll keep you financially intact, especially if you have a large retirement account. Let's see how it plays out. We could always go back into the banks or we could always go back into the monetary system or the stock market when the dust settles. But there's a lot that could happen before that time. And you can convert your 401k or your IRA into gold as well, right? Yeah, or a portion of it. Portion and it's of physical it, yep. gold and silver. Mm -hmm. um, it's held at a depository until you decide to take it out. That's because that would trigger a taxable event. The sure. transfer or the rollover does not. Mm -hmm. You know, that's not a taxable event. So- for people that, once again, don't want to have all their money wrapped up in a paper banking system or something that's, you know, reliant on a government that continues to take out uh, trillions of dollars of debt, to just keep these markets falsely propped up, keep these banks falsely propped up, keep our dollar falsely propped up. Mm -hmm. Because eventually, if you hold a beach ball jet underwater for long enough, Eventually, it's going to pop out of the water yeah. and things are going to change. So once again, we are in a huge everything bubble. It's been created by fake money and abnormally low interest rates that cannot go on forever, Jen. Eventually, it will matter. Mm -hmm. And when it matters, you don't want to lose all that you have and everything that you've saved. Think about it right now. Don't wait until any of the problems get any worse. 855 322 Gold, 855 322 4653, veteran owned Midas Gold Group. Fantastic people, not a call center. They're not just order takers. 855 322 4653 is the number to call. MidasGoldGroup.com. Text Gold to 232425. And before we run out of time, and it's only a second here, that privacy element is a big one because when you're vulnerable, that central bank digital currency can yeah, creep right in. Yeah, and there's, it's, there's some pretty good arguments that that's inevitable. Yep. Right? And uh, e even the Fed lost $114 billion last year. So even if they, the people who are creating wow. the money out of thin air, they're still bleeding money. So this will have to eventually matter, Jen. You know, yeah. eventually there could be a bail-in. The banks are not safe. And like you said, privacy is very important and control. Mm. When you're talking about the central bank digital currency, we're giving up all control and of our money. And you know the money. government wants it. That's for sure. All right. So 855-322-4653. Call Midas Gold Group today. Do it this week. 855-322-GOLD. 855-322-4653. MidasGoldGroup.com. 
MidasGoldGroup.com. You can text the word gold to 232425. Ken Russo, happy yes, birthday. Yes, thank you. Till next week. Yeah, always fun. Thanks for joining us. It's a gold standard radio show. Ken Russo and Jennifer Horn.